Are you going to listen to Grandma read a book? Are you going to listen to Grandma read a book? Huh? Did you see the ghost that was a quilt? It's right over there. Did you see it? Those little eyes. <laughs> well, I can't see. Well, come here. Come here. <gasps> see? Yeah, I did. It's a ghost that was a quilt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, girls. Are you ready for a story? What we're doing today, this is Miss Rose, right? And she made a ghost. Isn't he cute? That's the little ghost who was a quilt. And you guys are going to take, this is mine. You don't have to do yours my same way. But I'm going to give you some material. And you're going to decorate your, however you want it, to make it look like a little quilt. And then we'll put him on a stick and rubber band it, and there's your ghost that you can take home. How's that? All right. We'll okay. Let Miss Rosalie, read the book. All right. The book is The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt. Once there was a little ghost who was a quilt. Do you think he looks like this one? Yeah? He didn't know why he was a quilt. His mom and dad and all his friends were sheets. They were light as air. They flew high and fast and twirled and whirled in the sky. They could even ride on a gust of wind and then whoosh back to the ground like they were on an invisible slide. The little ghost who was a quilt was heavy because of his layers of fabric. It was hard for him to lift off and he was slow, a slow flyer. He got hot and sweaty when he tried to go too fast. The, the only time he attempted to twirl and whirl it didn't go well. What do you think happened? He fell down the stairs. Oh, he did. One day, he and his friends went to the park, and when they heard someone coming, his friends zoomed away because ghosts are terrified of people. But the little ghost couldn't escape quickly enough. He flopped over a bench. A family came along, and a little boy who was eating an ice cream cone sat down beside him. The little ghost was, had never been so close to a human before, and he felt fear in every fiber of his fabric. The boy only stayed a few minutes, but he dropped a big blob of ice cream right on the little ghost's face. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the ice cream. Nope, it's not. It, it slid down. <laughs> Later, when some of the other ghosts saw him, they laughed at the stain on his forehead. The little ghost was embarrassed and also very sticky. Yeah. The little ghost didn't like being different. His mom and dad told him he had an ancestor who was a checkered tablecloth, and his great-grandmother was an elegant lace curtain. Everyone said she was the most beautiful ghost they had ever seen. Even knowing that, the little ghost didn't feel any better. He wished he was just one fabric and not a whole bunch of squares sewn together. The other ghost called him Scrappy, and he didn't like that. A 
but there was one day that always cheered him up. What day was it? Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You do? I know everything. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> People's, people seemed excited about ghosts on Halloween and some of the children dressed up as them and trick-or-treat. Every year the ghost went to watch the festivities. They stayed silent and still in the trees and pretended to be decorations far away from the humans. See, they are in the trees. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh, yeah? Wait a second. What are we waiting for? I see. There's the ghost in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's draped over the chair, isn't he? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, I was like, what? <laughs> Too heavy to hover, the little ghost, who was a quilt, usually draped himself over a clothesline. He never had a very good view. This year he had a better plan. He remembered how close he had been to the boy at the park, and he decided he would be brave and fold himself over a chair on a porch, right in the center of the action. <laughs> Halloween night came and the little ghost flew as fast as he could but he was only halfway across the lawn when he heard people coming. At the last possible second he flopped over the railing on the porch. A, ma'am, a mom walked up the driveway with a little girl dressed as a ballerina. While the little girl trick-or-treated, the mom asked the man at the door something. Wonder what she asked. She asked if she could use it. Yeah. The next thing the little ghost knew, the mom had picked him up. He was so scared he thought his seams might come unstitched. Yeah? <laughs> the mom wrapped the little ghost around the girl and put them both in the wagon. <laughs> the girl had been cold and now the little ghost was keeping her warm. He could hardly believe what, what was happening. <gasps> they headed down the street, past his friends in the trees. No, don't go, they whispered. What are you doing? The little ghost decided to fly away as soon as the girl got out of the wagon to trick or treat again. But the mom didn't turn into the next yard or the one after. By the time she finally walked up to a house, the little ghost was panicking. How would he get away? The mother parked the wagon and carried the girl and the little ghost into the house. The little ghost didn't know what to do. He remembered him. He reminded himself to stay calm and be brave. That's a little scary there. It's all dark. The little ghost peeked around the room. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. He even saw a branch trimmed with lollipop ghosts. They looked just like his friends in the trees. <gasps> There's the lollipop ghosts. Oh. 
The little girl, the girl tucked the little ghost, who was a quilt, under her legs as she sorted her candy into piles. He felt surprisingly cozy. Maybe things would turn out okay after all. The girl ate a chocolate bar, and when she wiped her sticky fingers on the little ghost, he didn't even mind. After the little girl was asleep, upstairs, her mom gently folded the little ghost who was a quilt. She smiled and admired his fabrics and traced her fingers along a line of his stitching. It tickled. She set the little ghost on the couch and went upstairs too. When she was gone, he flew into the fireplace and up the chimney. His smile was three squares wide. Oh my goodness, that would be this wide. Or this wide. No, three squares. One, two, three. <laughs> The little ghost friends cheered and rushed over to him. They were amazed by his courage and wanted to hear every detail of his adventure. They flew slowly along with him all the way home. The little ghost was so happy that he felt like he was floating. Everything that had happened was because he was a little bit different. Everything had happened because he was a quilt. <laughs> you say thank you. Thank you. Yeah.